Alpha-1 antitrypsin deficiency, A1AD, is a hereditary disease, characterized by low levels of a protein called alpha-1 antitrypsin in the blood. Main symptoms of alpha antitrypsin deficiency is Shortness of breath and wheezing Repeated lung and respiratory infections Tiredness Rapid heartbeat upon standing Vision problems Weight loss Some people have no symptoms and do not develop complications. Alpha-1 antitrypsin deficiency usually develop the first signs and symptoms of lung disease between ages 25 and 50. The earliest symptoms are shortness of breath following mild activity, reduced ability to exercise, and wheezing. Other signs and symptoms can include unintentional weight loss, recurring respiratory infections, and fatigue. Affected individuals often develop emphysema, which is a lung disease caused by damage to the small air sacs in the lungs, alveoli. Characteristic features of emphysema include difficulty breathing, a hacking cough, and a barrel-shaped chest. Smoking or exposure to tobacco smoke accelerates the appearance of emphysema symptoms and damage to the lungs. The most common complication of the disease is chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, including bronchiectasis, and rarely, liver disease, especially cirrhosis and hepatoma, or more rarely, as a skin condition called paniculitis. A deficiency of alpha antitrypsin allows substances that break down proteins, so-called proteolytic enzymes, to attack various tissues of the body. The attack results in destructive changes in the lungs, emphysema, and may also affect the liver and skin. Deficiency of alpha-1 antitrypsin results in unbalanced, i.e., relatively unopposed, rapid breakdown of proteins, protease activity, especially in the supporting elastic structures of the lungs. Over years, this destruction can lead to progressive emphysema and is accelerated by smoking, some occupational exposures, and likely by other genetic modifiers of this risk which remain incompletely understood. A 1AD is also more frequent among individuals with Wegener's granulomatosis, now called polyangitis with granulomatosis. Diagnosis. Sometimes reduction in expiratory airflow, hyperinflation, low diffusing capacity, and a CT scan of the chest may show loss of lung tissue that may not be apparent on breathing test results. Emphysema lower lung zones of plain chest x-rays or CT scans. Abnormal level of oxygen in the arterial blood, arterial hypoxemia. Liver disease caused by A1AD may occur during infancy, childhood, adolescence, or only newly during adulthood. Alpha-1 antitrypsin deficiency is affects approximately 100,000 Americans. However, because most cases of A1AD go unrecognized, the disorder is very much underdiagnosed. Estimates suggest that only 10% or fewer of these estimated 100,000 individuals with severe deficiency of A1AT have been diagnosed. Many A1AD individuals experience long delay, i.e., mean of 5 to 8 years, between initial symptoms, often shortness of breath, and initial diagnosis. Alpha-1 antitrypsin deficiency is an hereditary form of emphysema, which accounts for 2-3% to of all instances of emphysema and which is worsened by other risk factors for COPT, like cigarette smoking. Because A1AD often goes unrecognized, official guideline documents recommend that all individuals with fixed airflow obstruction on spirometry testing should be tested for the disorder. Also, all first-degree relatives of individuals found to have severe A1AD, i.e., siblings, children, and parents, individuals with paniculitis, and individuals with unexplained liver disease or bronchiectasis should be tested. This disorder may be suspected when emphysema occurs in a young person, a nonsmoker, or someone with a family history of emphysema. A 1AD should also be suspected in individuals with jaundice, hepatitis, portal hypertension, Treatments for emphysema associated with A1AD include standard medications used in managing patients with emphysema of all causes, such as inhaled bronchodilators, inhaled steroids, anticholinergics, oxygen therapy, and the administration of antibiotics or phosphodiesterase 5 inhibitors for the frequent respiratory infections. As well as, in specific subgroups, specific A1AT treatment called augmentation therapy. Exercise programs, 
pulmonary rehabilitation, and good nutrition may help increase overall quality of daily living. It is very important that people with emphysema avoid smoking, employment that exposes the patient to lung irritants, and the use of non-medical aerosol sprays. Preventing infection as possible with yearly influenza and periodic pneumococcal vaccinations is also recommended. Specific treatment of A1AD, for individuals with established emphysema, may also involve the use of augmentation therapy, which is the regular, usually once weekly, long-term infusion into the veins of deficient individuals of purified, pooled human plasma-derived A1AT. Currently, six drugs for augmentation therapy have received approval by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, Prolastin, Aralast, Aralast NP, Zemera, Prolastin C, and Glacia, of which the latter four are currently available. The best available evidence suggests that augmentation therapy may help slow the progression of lung damage due to A1AD. Augmentation therapy does not treat A1AD-related liver disease. No specific therapy is available for the liver disease associated with A1AD, though animal studies have shown promise for several drugs that can increase the liver's ability to break down and secret A1AT, e.g., rapamycin and carbamazepine and have prompted research studies in A1AD individuals. Promising prospects include gene therapy, by intramuscular or intrapleural injection of a virus carrying the normal human A1AT gene, administration of augmentation therapy by inhalation, modified approaches to intravenous augmentation therapy with recombinant molecules that may require less frequent infusions, the administration of agents that turn off the production of mutant A1AT protein in the liver and the synthesis of normal A1AT in human or yeast cells for subsequent use in. Augmentation therapy. Life expectancy among those who smoke is 50 years while among those who do not smoke it is almost normal.